Hello, in this tutorial I want to show you the GTK file chooser dialog. So the same as if I click here and you can choose files in here, you know, uh, you can choose whatever you want, you can change the directory, I have no floppy drive. Okay, that's it. Uh, then let's start it. Uh, first of all, uh, I want to tell that uh, the program is the same as we left earlier. I um, I mm, don't delete this function right here because we will need it right now, and uh, and actually we don't need it right now to think it a little bit o o better in it. Okay, so create a dialog, so GTK widget dialog and um, that's all what we need to do okay make a dialog equal to gtk file chooser dialog new okay uh, this is a spatial type of dialog this is a dialog as well just a spatial type which will be a file chooser okay the first per uh, the first parameter the is the name as well so um, choose a file okay the second parameter is the parent as well as in the case of normal dialog so we use a window so gtk window window okay uh, then the next parameter is the action so this could be open save and so on there are four possibilities all of them start the same so gtk file chooser uh, watch that i don't write out the dialog here it's not needed just when you create a dialog but as you just use the simple gtk file chooser which is actually the, the file chooser okay and so gtk file chooser action and after this you write the action uh, this could be open this could be save and this could be open folder uh, which in which case you cannot open a file you can open a top level folder folder so you can go uh, up to the to a folder if if there is no subfolder uh, under so that if there is subfolder under it so if there is no subfolder you can just choose uh, choose the folder i think that's what it's called oh no this is select folder no, not really matter so you can select the folder the same and you can create a folder this is the same as save just it uh, gives you an o uh, opportunity to click the create a folder uh, yep and now just leave it as open okay uh, now open okay the next thing you want to do is to add the buttons to it mm, we add an ok button and the cancel button so gtk uh, uh, stock ok and the gtk gtk response ok so whenever someone click the ok button it will give the response ok uh, signal the next is the cancel gtk stock cancel and gtk uh, response cancel so whenever somebody click the cancel button it will give a cancel signal and we press no to the end of it okay and that was it make a new line right here so it's not so strange okay and now we can make this dialog to visible so gtk widget show all dialog okay and now just make it the dialog run as we did earlier so g int the response equals to gtk dialog run and gtk dialog uh, dialog okay there is no colon here okay gtk that dialog all right now we have to check the response so if risp is equal to gtk response okay 
So if the response is OK, we just write out uh, the folder which we with the user choose. So backslash n, and we use uh, something as uh, a function called gtk file chooser get file name like that and it's with a gtk file chooser uh, call it um, call it call it call it dialog okay and uh, okay and if it is cancel then you w uh, then we just uh, destroy the dialog no no anyway we destroy the dialog so we pr uh, just print out that you uh, hit the cancel person s per n uh, and actually make it you pressed the cancel okay backslash n and that's it all right and we destroy the dialog so g uh, G widget uh, GTK widget destroy destroy and the dialog. Okay, try to compile it and run it. All right, here it is, and I can click the button and it get the file chooser dialog, which is a little big, so it's not perfectly fit here. But fortunately, I can make it smaller. All right, and if I uh, open something, for example this cat.jpg, it will write out here. If I open up something else, or for example this main.cpp, it write out itself with full path and the name included. But if I press the cancel, you press cancel as you can see. So, uh, that's the basic of it. You can set a default folder for that. So, uh, use a uh, function called gtk file chooser set 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 uh, current uh, folder and the first is the gtk file chooser dialog and the second one is the folder we want for example if I want the root uh, file system so the slash thing okay then I run the program and whenever I click the click me click me button it will start from from the desktop as well but uh, did we save it and did we compile it again hmm. uh, never mind it should start hmm I will see in a moment. Oh, I know what the problem is. It is in the best pl uh, place we have to put in the before the main as we will never reach it until we exit and if we reach it un after exit then uh, it has nothing to do with it. So if I start now, as you can see, I am in the uh, root folder. Okay. Uh, by the way, if we are here, I want to talk you about some uh, G a uh, function. Uh, I want to talk to you about the G get uh, home dir. Okay, this function is the get the home directory. Uh, directory. So my home directory. So if I run it and I get the dialog it will start from the home uh, my home di uh, directory uh, if i would press if i would be another uh, user then it would always give the good folder okay there is another one a function similar to that is the gtk uh, g get temp dear this will get the temporarily deal dear or not ah never mind about that uh, uh, there is some other function for that but you don't use that okay and uh, that's the basic of the file chooser uh, later of course we can do much more things with it uh, but I uh, feel that I am out of time again so 
Thank you for watching and have a great day.